Hello and welcome to another video and Microsoft reportedly against publishers from charging for Series X upgrades which I totally agree with there should be something in place like this especially if you're going to be getting the next gen but uh, let's go ahead and read the articles and yeah I will talk my opinion about it Microsoft has reportedly been telling developers and publishers they're not allowed to charge players who wish to upgrade from the Xbox One version for their games to Xbox Series X. That's according to sources speaking to Video Games Chronicle, which reports Xbox is encouraging companies to offer free next-gen upgrades with via its Smart Delivery Incentives initiative or their own scheme, 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 whatever. Smart delivery allows customers to buy a game once and play it across Xbox One and Xbox Series X with their save data achievements and other information syncs between the two versions, which I love that. Thank you. So I hope this is going to be true for NBA 2K because you have all those cards and all that stuff, but I don't know if they want you to give it a clean slate and start all over again. So far, 14 titles have been confirmed for smart delivery, including Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Cyberpunk 2077, and Halo Infinite. Meanwhile, EA has come up with its own dual entertainment scheme, whereby people who purchase Madden NFL 21 on Xbox One or PS4 will receive their corresponding next-gen version for free. Although this has to be claimed before Madden 2022 is released, Microsoft is also encouraging other offers such as cross-gen bundles, either physical or digital, where customers receive both versions of a game. This route is 2K has taken positioning a $99 the Mamba edition for Xbox One and Xbox Series X. So if you buy the Xbox One version of Mamba edition, you get the next gen for free, but it doesn't apply for the, for the regular edition of the game, the standard edition, which is wrong. It's not cool, but we all know there's one greedy ass company that always does this sneaky shit. Games that do not use smart delivery will not be able to share certain save data across uh, generations. VGC reports that titles will not be able to add support for Scheme or if they do not have it at launch. And Microsoft sp spokesperson told the site that developers and publishers ultimately decide how they deliver their games and we will work with them to provide the best experience possible on their needs. Okay, so I totally agree with Microsoft on this. Um, but at the end of the day, it's up to the developers and the publishers to do what they want to do. Because to me, you gain more favor with the consumer if you're more consumer friendly than you would if you were just being an asshole. Like, <laughs> freaking 2K is trying to be very asshole-ish. First, they want to raise the price of their game to sixty nine ninety nine. That's their prerogative. That's their product. They can do whatever they want to do with it. Doesn't mean we're happy with their decision. And um, and that version of the game, you will not get a next generation version of it. I mean, I'm already paying $70 more. Why not just give it to me for like, like let's just say I buy the standard edition for $59.99. Why not just charge me an extra $10 so I can upgrade to the next gen version of it? Huh? But anyway, these are just... I just hate companies like this. This is really shitty. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. This is somewhat unbiased. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Okay, make sure to like and subscribe. All right, have a good one.